Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Best, okay? And we're here to talk about a couple of things for today, okay? We're here to talk about Kenya Moore and Marlon Hampton. We're here to talk about Angela Simmons, and we're also here to talk about that bird, Portia Williams, and her baby daddy, Dennis McKinley. Now, I'm back on the PC doing my Yes for the Best on StreamYard. I do not like the way my sound is when I'm on a PC. I love it when I'm on a laptop. But unfortunately, my sister has the laptop and she has not brought the motherfucker back yet. So at this point, we got to do what we got to do, right? And I don't feel like going in my cold ass closet to do no video because it's cold as shit. That's why I got this damn coat on. I just turned my heater on, okay? So yeah, so yeah, I got to do what I got to do. So we're going to start this thing off with Kenya Moore. Now, as you guys already know, the Housewives of Atlanta is now filming their uh, 14th season. They started filming a little over two and a half months ago. And, you know, we got a couple of new additions. We got Sonya Riches Ross. We have Mungetta Shaw. And apparently, we got somebody else on the show that's supposed to be Sheree's friend. And, you know, Drew Sedora is back. Marlo got a peach. It's a couple of new things that's going on with the show right now. You know what I'm saying? But what ain't new is the fact that Kenya Moore and Marlo are at odds once again okay you know they made up and they became friends again last season child and for all we know we knew that it wasn't gonna last period and it didn't last now y'all know i don't really like looking this shit on media takeout but this was brought to me and from what they was telling me from what they from what was said on media takeout is the fact that kenya moore is hiring bodyguards to protect her from marlo hampton and you guys already know that Marlo Hampton got the chick a pass. Y'all already know that. Y'all know that she ain't want she ain't want to mince words or knife or anything else that's used to cut people with it. So we're gonna get into the article first and then we're gonna dissect it. Okay, so let's talk about it, honey. Okay. Now, the new season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta is off the chain. Media takeout news has learned that a series of violent instances during filming have gotten um housewife kenya more spooked now according to our insider kenya has decided to hire a 24 7 bodyguard which are with her during the filming of every scene and their specific instructions are to protect her from marlo now kenya and marlo have been going at it all season with kenya reading marlo and the marlo frequently flying into a rage now, Media Takeout News spoke with the person that's close to Kenya, who explained that Kenya is here for the drama, but she's not interested in violence, especially with Marlo, who has a history of slashing women's faces with knives. Now, we're told that Kenya has spoken to Bravo execs and has informed them that she needs her own private security with her at all times, especially when Marlo was in the scene with her. Marlo is a very emotional woman, but she hasn't been accused of doing anything violent in years. That being said, she does have um, quite the past, okay? Now, I think that's it for the article. Now, this is what I got to say about it. Now, I would, you know, media takeout is really something that you take with a grain of salt. You know, you don't believe anything that the media takeout says at all. Like, you just don't. You don't take nothing that they say seriously. You just don't. You just take it with a grain of salt and you move on. TST, and this might be some cold ass tea that may not even be true. Like, and you know, that's just what the basis of that situation is when it comes down to media takeout, child, because it's media fucking takeout as is. You know what I'm saying? But to each his own, if Kenya feel like she need to get um, some private security guards in, let her get them. I don't think that they really have security on housewives um, sets because they don't expect them to get violent or fight or anything like that. So that's why they don't really have no security guards on there. Like Love and Hip Hop got them all over the damn place. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that them hoes going to fight. But when it comes down to the housewives, I don't think that they expect them to fight at all. I just feel like that's why um, she needs her security. I feel like if they already had security, she really wouldn't be worried about it. All they got is production. But to be honest, I mean, Marlo does have a past. And if she's flying into a violent rage every time Kenya reads her, then, <laughs> then you know what I'm saying? She needs to do what she got to do to protect herself, to be quite honest. And, you know, Marlo looked like she's, um, she's, she's with it. 
you know, I've always said that she felt like she had cut a bitch face in a minute. That's that, and that's just the damn truth. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. So, you know, um, Kenya, just do what you got to do. But if you know you can't handle Marlo, you might need to watch your damn words or watch your damn mouth because y'all already know what Kenya gives. And Kenya gives a read. It'll make you want to slap her, her mama, your mama, your grandma, and everybody damn else, child. Y'all already know how Kenya do. And all of that stuff. And you know, I'm not no big fan of Kenya at all. I ain't never been a big fan of Kenya. Never been on Team Twirl, period. But you know, um, I do see things from a different perspective when it comes down to Kenya. And I understand where she's coming from. Because she don't want her face to be slashed up. See, she's too pretty for that. She's too pretty for that. So she don't want to get her face slashed up by Marlo Jealous ass. And I, and, and, and my thing is, could, could we not see this from coming a mile away? Did we not know that um, Kenya and fucking Marlo was gonna get into it again. Didn't we already know that? Didn't we already know that? Oh, okay. Cause I always knew that friendship really wasn't genuine at all. Like, what what y'all always being friends again for? Anytime somebody uh, who used to be your friend throw your mama in your face, knowing that your mama, you you have all these issues with your mama, and knowing what it is when people talk about your mama and, and the issues that you got with her child i would not want to have nothing to do with marlo and that's just really what it is so i don't know what the fuck kenya was thinking about when she decided to be friends with marlo again in the first place that woman ain't nobody's friend period and you know that she not so why on earth would you even accept an olive branch from her ass anyway anyway i don't get it but you know to each his own to each his fucking own, you know, it ain't nothing I can really say about it. It ain't nothing I can really do about it. Only thing I can say, this is just my opinion. I ain't saying this in the Bible. I ain't saying this the law. I'm just saying it sincerely, just my opinion, okay? So, you know, it is what it is. So, um, my heart goes out to Kenya and Drew. I hope they find a way to make it right. But if they don't make it right, you ain't got to because it's good for TV, child. Trust me. But next up is uh Angela Simmons. Okay, that's who's next up. And you guys already know that I'm not here for Angela Simmons. If you've been watching me for a while and you've been watching my growing up hip hop reviews, y'all already know that I'm not here for Angela Simmons, period. I just find her to be such a stick in the mud and so boring. I don't know who the hell thought it was a good idea to have her ass on anybody's TV or anybody's show, to be quite honest. But you know, apparently, earlier this um some, well, earlier this fall, rather, it was reported that she was filming scenes for the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, simply because she supposedly um, is a friend of Sonya Richards Ross, apparently. They were saying that she was spotted at several events that was going on during filming, and people were saying that she was a part of the cast. Even B. Scott got his ass on The Real and said that, you know, she was filming with the cast and, you know, the network really loves her, but the fact of the matter is she is still signed to WeTV, so there's really not much that they can do for or with her. But she has been filming with the cast quite a bit. But she has come out and said that she's not a part of the show. Not that that's hurt anybody's feelings, especially not mine, because don't nobody want to see her ass on the show no damn way. But we're going to get into uh, that situation. So you you guys already know what we do over here. We cite our sources over here, child. So we're going to get into the article from page six, talking about Angela Simmons not joining the Housewives of Atlanta, despite the fact that B. Scott went on the reel and said that she was, and despite the fact that the net, that the internet been wagging their tongues about it for quite some time now, so we've been getting to the article, child. So let's talk about it. So, um, let's see. So, not so peachy. Um, Angela Simmons will not be joining the Real Housewives of Atlanta, despite rumors claiming otherwise. A source close to production told Page Six. Now, speculation is Simmons, who is age 34, could be joining season 14, started circulating in November after she attended new cast member Marlo Hampton's party at La Archive in Atlanta. They were filming there, an oh, eyewitness told page six. That's probably where the rumor started, but she's not filming as a part of production. Further filling rumors, Simmons recently moved from New York to Atlanta. The move led many Real Housewives of Atlanta fans to assume that she sealed the deal, but we're told that that's not true. Page six reached out to has reached out to Bravo and rep and Simmons rep for coming. TMZ was the first to break the story. Okay. While Simmons won't be starring on the Bravo fan franchise anytime soon, fans will still get to follow her life on TV. She's continuing working working on reality shows like Just Angela and Growing Up Hip Hop. As season as as for season 14, RHOA is filming and is currently underway. 
and, and took place after a major cash shakeup. Candy Burris, Kenya Moore, and Drew Sidora will all be returning, as 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 well as former star um, Sheree Whitfield and newbie Sonya Richards Ross. Okay, the new cast additions came after longtime stars Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams announced their um, departures from Housewives of Atlanta. Bailey shared the news in late September, while Williams followed suit three days later. Both stars concluded their reality TV journey with spinoffs of Real Housewives, Ultimate Girls Trip, and Portia's Family Values, respectively. Okay, so yes, let's get back on camera. So basically, in so many words, um, Angela Simmons will not be on the show. And I can just speak for everybody when I say that we're all happy that she won't be on the show and we didn't want to see her on the show any goddamn way. And we are very happy about that. Aren't you happy about it? Because I am happy about that. I did not want to see her on the Housewives of Atlanta, period. I don't like Angela. Let's, let's just make it clear. I don't like Angela. Now, Vanessa, I can rock with. Now, I can rock with Vanessa. I can do Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? But Angela, I can't. I can't do Angela. I just think that Angela is hella fake. I think that she's full of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I don't know. It's just not... It's just not a good look. I, I I just don't fuck with Angela. Like, period. Her personality is whack. I don't like the way she treats Vanessa. And she just thinks that she, she's just so uppity. And people used to get so mad at Brianna for her feelings towards Angela during the first seasons of um, Growing Up Hip Hop. But I totally understand. Angela's attitude just rubs people the wrong way, honey. It really does. And that's just what it is. So, yeah, Angela Simmons won't be on the show, period. And, um, you know... I ain't mad at it. Nobody else is mad at it either, right? Period. Okay? Ain't nobody mad at that shit, period. No one. Okay, Um. so next up, we got Posha. Posha Williams and Dennis McKinley. Now, as you guys already know, Portia and Dennis um, have been going back and forth online since, you know, Portia's show aired, Okay. Now, as you guys already know, Portia then went out here and got her own spinoff, and now she's looking like a goddamn fool with said spinoff. She thought that she was doing herself some good by getting her own show so she could escape what she was about to go through on um, The Housewives of Atlanta in regards to her husband. Now, first of all, um, somebody tweeted Portia and said, not the Bravo TV producers trying to make Portia for real the villain of her own show be. Um, talk about spinning a narrative, Portia's family matters. And then Portia um, retweeted that and said, child, basically agreeing and throwing the producers under the bus. Mm, 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 mm. Then later on, she got um, an entire post on her um, Instagram, which Peach Report Daily um, posted. And um, she said, let me put her picture back up and say, hey, loves. Now, you all know by now I don't address too much of what's happening on the show because I'd rather you just enjoy, enjoy what is meant for entertainment. But because of future low-life accusations made by Dennis of me on the show, I want to make it known that, yes, my daughter was in Mexico with me, as she is the majority of the time when I travel as a single mom. But as you can imagine, after the first dinner, I saw just how crazy it was going to be and chose to keep her off camera while I was there working on the show. However, we stay an extra week in Mexico, and as a family, we, my fiancé, and I blended and enjoyed the rest of our vacation. I'm a damn good mother, and I always have my baby girl close no matter what. She is my world and my purpose, and for anyone to raise a question against that, shame on you and whomever raised you. Okay, I'm done. Good night. So Tamika Mallory um, responded with a rolling eye emoji, and then um, Portia said, Hey, a scene I just shot with Dennis about a week ago. It was awful. I don't know if they would air it or not, but I have to put my foot down when it comes to attacking me as a single mom. Child, Portia, 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 okay? Like, this is crazy. Okay, so it's a, it's really, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on with Portia and Dennis. Um, I, I, I'm guessing that she don't like the way she's being portrayed on this, on this here show. But um, she really um, thought that she was going to come on this show and she thought that she was going to spin the narrative. And there's so many stories going around right now because Tisa Tills, and you know, shout out to Tisa Tills because you know that's my girl. I love some Tisa Tills. And Tisa Tills has said that Bravo is done with Portia. She's humiliated. 
and she's desperate because Bravo refuses to cut Dennis's footage from the show. So it's just like this girl, you really thought that you can walk your ass away from the Housewives of Atlanta, get your own show, and think that you're going to be able to spin that narrative the way that you want to. Baby girl, please. And the fact that your ratings are low as fuck, like you're at 600K for your ratings, and you're supposed to be this fan favorite who carried the show and all of this other stuff. I think it's crazy. To be honest, I do. And I just can't I just can't get with the bullshit. You thought that you was going to come on this show and you was going to spin this story in the way that you wanted to, and it just didn't work in your favor, and now you fucking pissed. That's why you're pissed. And you know what? It probably all started from the moment that the executive producer came out because I reported on this story yesterday, came out and said what he said about the fact that y'all fool production into having her apologize, to, having you to apologize to Candy just so you can switch the narrative. So you've been a switch the narrative type of bitch. You've been there. You've been there and you thought that you can continue to do that on this show. You thought that Bravo producers were going to keep protecting you ain't happening and this show ain't doing you no favors it's making you look as unlikable as i've been saying you were okay and that's just the fucking truth i've been calling you out for how unlikable you are i've been saying that you wasn't shit i've been saying it but everybody want to be mad at scotty everybody want to call me porsche hater everybody want to say i'm on a porsche hate train and i'm this and i'm that at the end of the day i don't give a fuck what you think I really don't, because at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, you sat up there, you messed around with this woman's husband, and then you got rewarded a spinoff. And you thought that it was going to be about your activism, which nobody was going to watch a show about that anyway. It wasn't going to be about your activism. So you already knew what everybody wanted to know. So you decided that you wasn't going to put this on the Housewives of Atlanta. You're going to get your own show, and you're going to switch the narrative and control the narrative. And I wasn't going to watch this show, but I was very interested to see exactly how you was going to try to play this game with us as, as the people. I really, I just really want to know how you was going to try to flip this around, spin this narrative and make it, make it so you can do, do the damn thing on your own. But, uh, Bravo said, no, bitch. We going to tell the story the way we want to tell it. And now you want to blame Eddie. Now it's editing's fault. Now editing is doing doing you a disservice. No, you're unlikable because you are, and you've been unlikable. It's just that your fans have been blind to your ass and acting like they didn't see you for your works. But I've been seeing you for your works. That's why the people don't like you too much because I see you for your works, and I call you out on your works. That's why the people don't like me too much. That's why some of your fans don't fucking like you. I'm surprised your sister ain't blocked me like she blocked him. Because I'm going to always be on your ass. I'm going to always call you out on your shit every time. I am. It's just in me to do that. I don't give a fuck about you being no fan favorite. I'm going to call it out as I see as I see fit. You are full of it. And you thought that this show was going to change everybody's mind about what you did. You got up there and you got with that lady's husband. And you thought that you were going to get away with that. No. You out of your fucking mind if you thought that you were going to get away with it. You ain't getting away with shit. Period. You're not. Everybody sees you for who you are. Every single week, they dragging you on social media. And as they should. They should be dragging you. They should. They should. I'm glad they're dragging you. I'm glad that everybody sees it for what it is. I'm glad. Honestly. But it is what it is, though. So, you continue to be mad at Bravo. You continue to do what you do. Because you can quit all your jobs. You can quit all your jobs. And now, this is all you got. So, we're going to see we gonna see what the fuck you're going to do with this. Okay? We're just going to see that. Because now you're mad at Bravo. And now you're mad at Dennis. Is it? Is it? And then you want them to cut Dennis' footage? You think that Bravo going to cut Dennis' footage and he makes the show? <laughs> Girl, you are stupid as fuck. If you thought if you thought they're gonna cut Dennis out of the show, he makes the show interesting. He makes you wanna watch it. Ain't no way in hell you thought they was gonna cut his footage out. You gotta be out of your mind. You gotta be. But you know what it is, what it is. This is what you got, this is what you get. You thought you was making a power move and now you're looking like a fool. And that's just that on that. 
But with that being said, you guys, this was another episode of Yes for the Mess. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video comes out, okay? Also, if you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and my IG will be down below. It'll be down below if you want me to follow you back on IG because I don't really follow back on Twitter because I don't be on Twitter like that. So if you want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag Team Scotty message and I will definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty by Nature TV and I am out of here. Until my next video, I'll talk to y'all later.